What you're about to watch is a tutorial on how to beat this game without taking any damage. Feel free to use any of the strategies, but listen to the tail commentary before trying them on your own. Hello everybody, this is a no save no damage runoff. Resident Evil. The category is Nemesis Percent on hard mode. As an ordinary day in September, an ordinary day in Raccoon City, a city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. Alright, let's start. So, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Classic. First of all, I want to explain what, uh, what is Nemesis Percent category. The Nemesis Percent category it's basically defeat every Nemesis encounter in the game, except the encounter in the train with Mikhail. And also, it's not, it's not mandatory to fight Nemesis with Carlos, because that Nemesis is the same as the Nemesis that you have to fight after Carlos with Jill. But it's optional because there are there is some good things if you uh, fight Nemesis with Carlos. They will explain that when we arrive to that specific section. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! 
So Resident Evil 3 Classic, there are two new features in the gameplay. The first one is the quick turn. It goes like this, just press the backward button and the run button, and you will immediately quick turn. And there's also the dodge. But the dodge feature is not very well... In my opinion, it's not the best dodge uh, gameplay that you can have in a game. It's kind of messy. But it's mainly because uh, Nemesis is very fast, so in the game the developers want you to or want to give us something to dodge Nemesis very easily with not just moving, you know. But I won't use the dodge, maybe in some specific sections, but it's not necessary to learn that. There are other ways to deal with Nemesis, we're gonna choose Nemesis almost all the time in all the encounters. But anyway, uh, at the beginning of the game you just pick up both gunpowder say do not combine them yet you will combine them later when you enter to your menu so you can optimize run a little right here you just get close to the door if the cutscene doesn't trigger and when the zombies are out of the door they start shooting most of the time the second uh, zombie will get stuck on the body of the first zombie and that will give you enough time to kill him as well but this wasn't the occasion because the first two zombies will always go turbo the third and the fourth one uh, won't go turbo uh, all the time but sometimes they will go turbo it's very rare that the four of them go turbo right here uh, because i'm uh, out of hang on moon hang on bullet sorry i can start combining the gunpowder say just to optimize a little the time you can combine those gunpowder say at the beginning if you want it's okay i just do it, did it right now because it's about optimizing but the other zombies go pretty straightforward like on any percent run I will try to not explain something, some very specific things that I explain on any percent run. If you want to learn those specific things, uh, I suggest you to go to the any percent run. I explain there more in depth about those things. I will explain more here about the fights with Nemesis, of course, and the new things I do for this run. That's the most important for this category, because this category is very, very complex. And it's mainly because Nemesis is very unpredictable sometimes. And even even when you, when you cheese him, he can get out of the cheese very easily. But thankfully I find out a way to get him stuck on plenty of spaces, like very consistent. Right here if a zombie on the right or on the left goes turbo, I just shoot him uh, the, the, the turbo zombie first. But if neither of them go turbo, you can shoot them both in the head with just one shot and shell and decapitate them. So since this point the route starts changing, I like the any percent. After the cutscene, quick turn and go directly to the to the money machine. Pick up the hang on bullets. And then go directly to the to the lighter. If you are fast enough you can pick up both items before the cutscene triggers. Shooting there is not necessary, I just do it. Because I can. <laughs> isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. Also, there's a different, or kind of different, a slightly different uh, dialogue from Brat when you do this, this patting. Some uh, very little different things about things you can do in this game, it's very interesting. So right here we can have both two RNGs, the good one and the bad one. The bad one is when the zombies uh, break the wall. And the good one is when they don't and they will break the wall after you light up the, the court. And you can just enter, as you can see, after the cat, the little cat scene. The dogs are not a problem as long as you continue running and go directly to the item box. Pick up both gunpowders, and this is very important. Do not combine these gunpowders yet, because you can have the grenade launcher or the magnum in the star's office, and depending on that, uh, you will need to combine different gunpowders. So that's why I don't combine those gunpowders yet. But right now, it comes the first nemesis encounter. J 
Jill! Brad! We've got a... So when the cutscene ends, the star smashing the counter button because you want to, pick, uh, to choose the first option, fight the monster. Then rotate to Jill's right and go directly to the door. Without making a curve or anything, just go directly to the door. Nemesis won't be able to punch you because the Nemesis punch is in front of him, the hitbox of his punch is in front of him, more than on his side. So that's why you will always avoid that uh, punch. And stand up right in this place and wait for Nemesis. When Nemesis comes, aim and shoot two times. Then rotate to Jill's left and hack the wall, enter to your menu and repeat. Shoot two times, rotate to Jill's right, hack the wall, enter to your menu, get out of the menu, shoot two times. And just repeat the same. And when you are you will be about out of uh, when you will be out of uh, ammunition, you need to reload your weapon in your inventory, not with the reload animation. Because if you reload with the reload animation, uh, the cheese will be over and Nemesis will be able to get out of the stock animation so the main uh, reason nemesis gets stuck on this corner is because uh, you are resetting nemesis ai by entering to your menu and getting out of your menu when nemesis uh, is on the floor he's half hp so in the japanese version he will be 400 hp you can shoot him with the shotgun and then repeat shoot two times rotate to jill's right hack the wall enter to your menu out of your menu shoot two times and repeat that's the main goal you need to practice this a lot, and the timing is very important. Uh, the way you reset Nemesis AI is by enter to your menu every 3 seconds. And by shooting 2 times, rotating and hugging the wall, it's exactly 3 seconds, so that's why the cheese is infinite. Or you can infinitely cheese him right there, if you do it correctly. Uh, some other thing you need to take into consideration is that you don't want to be very close to Nemesis, otherwise he can punch, and when he punch he can be... Uh, he can get out of the of the corner more easily or easily. But yeah, that's the main strat for Nemesis 1. And that's also a very interesting thing why this category is called corner percent. <laughs> because I will I will stock Nemesis in the corners almost in every encounter. Because that's more consistent than just fight him. And I say it's more consistent because Nemesis has a very nasty hitbox and grab hitbox as well. So it's very unfair to fight with him. But it's possible, of course, to fight him without cheese him, without exploits. But it's very, very complex. I think Eater has a video of Nemesis percent without exploits. And I think he's the only one that does or that have done that. I'm not really sure. But anyway, right here you need to pick up the blue gem. This is very important because this will allow you to have enough space later. So there are four different puzzle solutions for this locker. Again, like in the any percent run, there will be a document in the description below where all the different co uh, puzzle combinations will be from the whole game. So just check out the document, that's the best way to know all the different combinations because that's RNG on every game that you play, it will change. Capitate the female zombie, get close to the door. If the zombie on the left comes to you, you need to kill him as well. But uh, the zombie on the left sometimes won't come. You, and you only, only have to deal with the zombie on the right. Then go up. So, I I, th I think I didn't explain this on the NA% run. Jill uh, runs faster when she's with just one weapon arm. Sorry, one weapon arm. What, what am I talking? One arm weapon or two, or sorry, or without weapons. So that's why I'm always uh, equipping the handgun instead of uh, start running with the shotgun. Because when Jill is with a uh, two arm weapon, uh, she, start, she starts running a little slower. Like the difference is not, it's not big, but it makes a difference for Nemesis and for some dodges that you need to perform. So it's very helpful. Carlo. Send in support immediately. 
So right here we can have uh, the Magnum or the Grenade Launcher. If you have the Grenade Launcher, you want to make a Flame Round. So that's the main reason we didn't combine the A, the a Gunpowder in the item box before entering to the RPD. But if you have the Magnum, you can start combining A Gunpowders until some specific point of the game. So second Nemesis just go around the stairs and stand up right on this line and Nemesis will throw always two rockets. And the third and the fourth one, it's random. He can throw a third one or a fourth one, but not all the time. Uh, what you want to achieve there is that he shoots two times and then enter to the item box. Uh, to the item box room, save the gem, pick up one gunpowder A and one gunpowder B, combine A with B, you, ha you have C, combine the C with A, you have AC, and combine the AC with the reloading tool and you have frame rounds. Then save everything, uh, well, I'll explain that later. Rotate to the to Jill's left, stand up right on this pillar, and when Nemesis shot, start running forward, stand up right here, wait for Nemesis, go around him, stand up right on this pillar, and just run uh, forward when Nemesis shoot. After the fifth uh, rocket launcher, Nemesis will always throw his rocket, so you are good to go. What the the main goal for Nemesis 2 is that you want to make him shoot his five rockets, so you can chase him uh, very easily right here. Just stand up right on the side of this library and start shooting Nemesis. As you can see, he's stuck, but he will be get out of the stock. And you want to run around the corner on the left side and then re-enter to the to the same spot. You have to be on this spot, this very specific spot. Otherwise, Nemesis will be able to punch you. And when he is starting getting out of the stock animation, you have to repeat. Get out of the office, quick turn, and then re-enter to the office and stand up right on the same place. That's very, very important. Otherwise, that this punch will hit you if you are not uh, hugging the wall on Jill's back. And it's the same. Believe it or not, this is like the safest and the easiest or, or less complex fight with Nemesis that you will have. The other fights are... Or have more things to take into consideration. The worst thing that can happen to you is right here is that you get stuck in the corner of the library where Nemesis is stuck when you are entering, and of course he will arrive to you and will punch you immediately. So you have to make some very specific movements in order to not get stuck in any corner when you are uh, about to chase Nemesis because he's very fast. So remember that. Nemesis type 1, the brawler Nemesis, is the fastest of them all. Nemesis type 2 is a little slower, so it's more easily to deal with him that than with Nemesis Type 1. Nemesis Type 1 it's pain in the ass because he's very very fast. So Nemesis 1 and Nemesis 2 throws you both eagle parts and that's a very custom uh, handgun. We will use that handgun almost the whole game because it's a very very powerful handgun. It has quick shot integrated you don't need to quick shot with that weapon because it already quick shot out automatically. For this part of the dog, it's the same as any person. Just stand up right here and start shooting both dogs with the aim, with the change aim target button. And when you are out of ammunition of this handgun, do not reload this handgun. Just combine the new handgun and start using this handgun. Just left the other handgun at zero bullets because we will use the other handgun with enhanced, enhanced handgun bullets. So no one started to use that handgun with normal handgun bullets anymore. And as you can see, I can shoot very, very fast without quick shooting. You just have to hold the aim and fire button and you will start shooting very, very fast. Like at the max velocity you can shoot. So that the handgun is completely overpowered, in my opinion. It's the best weapon you will have since this point of the game. Shoot the dog, get close to the dog, start aiming down and kill the dog. When the second dog uh, gets close to you, uh, do the same. Sometimes the first dog won won't die when the second dog is arriving. If, if that happens, just um, go backward a little and start shooting them directly. Do not take a risk right there. So save the other handgun and save all the gunpowders. Just, you just need the eagle. Hanging bullets, the lockpick, and the, the reloading tool, and the grenade launcher with flame rounds. You need the flame rounds for the drain demons right here, because drain demons on this part, 
will always die with just one flame round. If you use explosive rounds, this rain demon can tank that explosive round and of course uh, will be able to tag you after that. But with flame rounds that will never happen, you will always one shot the rain demon. Right now it comes uh, the feared nemesis encounter and after the feared nemesis encounter uh, things can go a little uh, more calm, you know. Until Nemesis 4, of course, but there's plenty of time between Nemesis 3 and Nemesis 4, so... Just uh, make more handgun ammunition, equip the eagle and use the, the metal bar. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait, how did he find me? So in order to fight with this nemesis, you don't need to choose anything. Just let their uh, time uh, run out. A nemesis will always miss the punch. It's not RNG, he will always miss, as long as you don't move at all. When he misses the punch, you just rotate and go to this corner, shoot two or three times max, because Carlos is a, is a scumbag and he will throw you very, very easily. As you can see, he will always go to your side, and sometimes he will immediately go to your side by dodging, and the nemesis can run and punch Carlos, and of course, because Carlos is on your side, nemesis will immediately punch you. So in order to avoid that, what you want to achieve here is that you always just shoot two times even if Carlos is uh, about to go to your side, but right here as you can see I have plenty of time to start shooting Nemesis, but unfortunately I cannot see Nemesis I don't want to go to the other camera change So I, I will just wait, uh, so, sorry, I will just wait until Carlos comes to me and I will repeat Shoot two, three times, but Nemesis is dead the main goal and the main thing you need to consider for this fight that you want to just shoot two or three times if Carlos is about to go to your side. Wait. And then repeat. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. So let me explain more about the fight. When the fight starts, just rotate, do not run forward or try to go, go around the corner before Nemesis punch, because Nemesis will always miss that punch. After he misses that punch, go around the corner, go behind Carlos to that specific cor corner that I, we I, I went and start shooting Nemesis just two or three times max and then start making space between you and Carlos. Because Carlos can dodge Nemesis and will, when he dodge, he will dodge backwards most of the time and will go to your side. And Nemesis can just rush to Carlos and make a punch and that punch will of course arrive to you because you are keep shooting. So what you need to do is just shoot two or three times max and then continue making the space between you and Carlos. And when Nemesis is on the floor, you can go behind Nemesis and go to the other side of the kitchen. You can shoot him in the floor with a flame round or two if you have enough enough time and just continue with the same strat. It's not really complex. The thing that you need to take more into consideration is to... It's Carlos more than Nemesis to be honest. Carlos can troll you more than Nemesis on that fight. But because we fight with Nemesis on, in the kitchen, you don't need to fight with him here or you don't need to dodge him here. Nemesis will only appear later in the game when you are picking up the parts for for the train so don't worry about Nemesis 
to start combining this gunpowder say with the reloading tool in order to have space for the last gem by the way this uh, inventory management planned for having enough space for all the key items and of course it changes a little when you have the magnum instead of the grenade launcher at the beginning it's like you need to save uh, two gunpowder say before uh, coming to this part just in case you don't have the feared gunpowder in the gas station and you won't be able to make frame rounds but that's about the magnum route this is the grenade launcher route, route. So right in this uh, alley you can have two RNGs, this is the first RNG and on the other RNG the zombies have different placements. But with the eagle it's very easy to deal with zombies as you can see. Like the worst thing can happen to you is that a zombie start rushing, start going turbo and goes like uh, going around you and you will miss the shots because of that. If a zombie start going turbo I recommend you to equip the shotgun and just kill the, the turbo zombie with the shotgun. Do not take ch any chances with Turbo Zombies because Turbo Zombies ruin a lot of my runs. They are scumbags as well, so don't, don't trust them. That's the worst thing you can do. For both uh, zombies and dogs, for this section it's the same. You just shoot to the barrel after you pick up the shot and shells on the body on the, on the right side. But if there are dogs, a dog can jump through the fire right here. And I think I'm gonna make a dodge after the cutscenes because I will mess up the dog jump. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ah. Hey! Is someone wounded back there? Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Ah, ah. Fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. So, Jill. Did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. So, Carlos, we will increase your inventory slots by two. Uh, right here is where I messed up. So, the dog will jump through the fire if he didn't jump on the first uh, time you pass through this section. And what you want to do is you need to wait until the dog fully lands to the floor and then shoot. Do not shoot early or that can happen. And I was very, very lucky because I dodged the dog. I could have been... Uh, or maybe the dog could have bite me. 
and of course that will end the run and that happens mainly because the enemies when they are on a landing animation they have iframes so you cannot inflict them damage and that affects every enemy that can land or can jump well not all the enemies but almost uh, every enemy like for example this dog and the hunter gammas in the park in the bridge but yeah that's the main reason i didn't or i wasn't able to shoot the dog but if i wait until he fully lands or until the dog fully lands then i will be able to shoot him before he can arrive to me other thing you can do for that dog is just run directly to the train, make some space between you and the dog, and then shoot. That's like the safest way you can do that part. So right on this gas station there can be three gunpowders A, and if the gunpowders A are not here, they will be in the in the storage. Jill! Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! So this puzzle has different uh, combinations for its solution. I think it's like 12 or 10 different solutions depending on which colors are on. And it will be on the document in the description below as always, so just check that out. Relax, I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. My ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. So there are no plenty of things to explain right here. This is basically the same as any percent. Just hack this wall, the right wall, and equip the shotgun before you trigger the cutscene. And when the zombies are coming through the door, just get close to them and aim up and shoot. To be honest, it's a very risky strat. If you want to make it uh, a little safer, you just want to weigh them uh, where the cutscene puts Jill. Do not run forward like it did. That's the safest way to deal with those zombies and just wait until they get out of the door and start killing them slowly. I just did that strat because uh, it's very consistent and I like to find fast and consistent strat for my runs. So right here, if you enter to the item box a room, to the safe room, you will change the position of the zombies, so don't do that. Just go around this corner and start killing them. Use the auto-aim in your advantage to know if a zombie is still alive. So the auto-aim directly aimed uh, to the zombie, so that means the zombie was still alive. So that's why I go to that zombie and I shoot him in the floor. But remember, this is not a speed run, by the way. It's a no damage run, so the goal is 
to not receive damage instead of going fast. So the safest ways you can find yourself to make this round the best. There can be dogs or crows on this part. For both are the same, just rotate to Jill's right and go directly to this door. By resetting the street, you will reset the position of the dogs and you don't have to care about them because they won't aggro. Just go directly to the door and you should be fine. Do not run forward, just enter right here, otherwise zombies will go through or will came through the windows. But I think that's like... Eh, not important because after you pick the last part of the train, those zombies will disappear anyway because Nemesis will be on this section. Nemesis 5. But I don't want to confuse you because first comes Nemesis 4 encounter. So we need to make some item management. Just save the, the gunpowder B, pick up the grenade launcher and save the machine oil as well. And that's it. I'm just thinking about that's it. You need the grenade launcher with frame rounds because we will encounter two more drain demons. And we want to kill them. Of course, if you, if you, if you got the magnum at the beginning of the game, you need the magnum instead of the grenade launcher right here. Run straight, aim and shoot when you are... Uh, when you end up going down the, st the stairs. So this rain demon can be on different, different positions, but most of the time he will be around the corner on the stairs or on the floor. That's the best energy you can have. The worst energy you can have is that the drain demon won't be, won't be around the corner and he, and he will... Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I cannot talk today. And he will be in front of you after you kill the first drain demon. And that's the worst energy and the way to deal with the second drain demon if you have that energy is completely different. Because he can immediately jump to you. I think I wasn't able to explain about that specific energy with that drain demon, so just feel free to ask me if you don't know how to deal with that RNG for the second drain demon. But right here I, ju I just like to kill the zombies from the distance and take a very close look to that explosive on the wall because I will explain about that later. There can be gunpowders B on this section. If the gunpowders B are not here, they will be on the storage with the gunpowder A. But if they are here, just combine the three of them. Because we need a triple B for acid rounds. And the solution for this puzzle is always the same. You need to press red and three times blue and the, for the second one is three times red and one time blue one of the few puzzles in this game that are the same all the time or on every on every gameplay so after we pick up the magnum zombies will be outside of this section what you want to choose is uh, increase electricity output because if you uh, choose the head to the emergency exit you will encounter nemesis outside and to be honest i don't have idea how to deal with that nemesis i think it's a little less complex to deal with that nemesis because you have that explosive on the wall but the the, the strat is completely different so in order to avoid that, just uh, choose the increase the uh, electricity output, pick up the fuse and get out. And we will encounter Nemesis 4 after the storage section, after we pick up the last part of the of the train. And we will have enhanced uh, hang on bullets for that fight. So in my, in my opinion, that's the most consistent way to deal with Nemesis and the safest way as well. So maybe you noticed, but we didn't combine any gunpowders B for shot and shells. We have like three gunpowders B in our inventory. And that's mainly because we will make enhanced gunpowders with two Bs and one A. Because if you want, if you combine BBA, you have uh, hand bullets. Uh, you have more hand bullets than combining three A's. So 
So just kill the zombies with time. Do not rush. A uh, zombie can come through the police car that that is on the right, on the left right now. So watch out for it. This zombie will almost always go turbo, so you want to kill him with the shotgun because, as you can see, he will tank the shotgun shell. And imagine with the handgun because he's like going uh, uh, on a curb angle. He can easily uh, dodge your shots if you are shooting with the, with the handgun and then just grab you. Do not take any chance with turbo zombies. So right here, save the frame rounds, save the the fuse, save the gunpowder B. Uh, pick up two gunpowders B, and also you want to pick up the handgun, the normal handgun. I completely forget about that, and that will make me waste some time later. But it's not the end of the world, so it's cool if you forget an item right here. The crowds can come through the bus right now. Sometimes they won't come through, as you can see, and they will come through on the third uh, visit of this street. I think that's mainly because of the of the padding that you take. Like if you go a little more to the right or to the left, the crowds will came through the bus, but I'm not really sure. I didn't test it too much. So I would just like to you if I say to you that depends on that on that. Run around the corner, aim and shoot, you will kill the first drain demon always, and the second drain demon can be on the on the wall or can be in front of you as well. If he's if the drain demon is on the wall, shoot to the to the barrel. And sometimes you won't die and you want to kill him with the magnum. But the safest way to be honest for the second drain demon, if the one to if you don't want to waste more than one magnum bullet for him, it's that you bring the flame rounds. Right here we can have uh, zombies or dogs. For the zombies, you just kill them with the shotgun. If you have plenty of shotgun shells. You should have them. And if there are there are dogs, just kill them with the handgun. Because there will be just three dogs. So for Nemesis percent we want to clean this specific section of the game. Because we will bring Nemesis for this part. So you trigger the zombies, just take some space, shoot to the barrel, you will kill the zombies on the floor by doing that, and just kill the zombies that are uh, that are not on the floor. There are three zombies, in total five with the two on the floor. After you kill the, f uh, the five of them, just get out of this, uh, of that street and, or that, or of that alley, sorry, and continue with the game. We mainly clean that section for Nemesis. And you will see it, uh, like, in five minutes, I think. So what you want to do is uh, rotate to Jill's left, uh, walk a little forward, aim and shoot directly. Do not sh aim, aim down. It's not necessary, just aim directly. For this uh, Brain Sucker Drain Demon, it's important that you aim down. Because for some reason, the hitbox for that Brain Sucker, it's on the floor, it's not in front of you. Wait. What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. So the combinations for this puzzle are three. There are three combinations. It can be Sasprin, it can be Adrobil, and it can be Acocure. The most successful uh, it's Aspring, like like most of the time you will, uh, it will be the solution. If you want to know the same, or if you want to know the exact uh, solution, you can turn on the TV and it will say you what is the solution for, for this run or for that specific run, because it can change on every run, you know, like on every puzzle that is random, so. So as I told you right here, there are the gunpowder say. There are three, but 
you want to do it combine just two with the with the combination or reloading tool sorry and after that you already combine the, the seventh one and the next one will be enhanced gunpowder as you can see because this is the eighth one but right there i realized that i forget about the handgun because unfortunately you cannot use the enhanced gunpowder sorry the enhanced handgun ammunition with the eagle you can only use that uh, ammunition with the normal handgun but it's okay if you forget about the handgun because as long as you don't pick up the oil Nemesis won't trigger. Nemesis will only trigger after you pick up that oil, so it's cool if you forget about something important before that. You can just backtrack to the to an item box and pick it up. And right here I'm making the 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 management just to take some advantage it's not necessary to have the magnum anymore at least not for now but you need the eagle you need the normal handgun of course enhanced ammunition the normal handgun ammunition if you have them and the shotgun and the shotgun shells beautiful scream from Nikolai so after the cutscene and you regain control of Jill just uh, aim directly to the to the bulb to the steam bulb just wait a little until the zombies on the side of the steam bulb and as you can see the steam will kill the zombies but you need to take into consideration something very important sometimes the first or the second zombie won't die and will will start crawling um, because you don't have uh, enough vision because the zombies are on the camera can easily grab your feet so be careful about that. Go around this part, aim, press the change aim target button, just wait for the zombies, decapitate three of them and get out. It's very consistent as long as you press the change uh, aim target button. Because sometimes the female zombie can rush to you. So right here, equip the handgun with enhanced uh, handgun ammunition, ammunition before you trigger Nemesis. So you will have the max uh, moment speed. After the cutting ends and you regain control of Jill, rotate to the left and hack this wall. Nemesis will always uh, start uh, try to shoot you. He will always miss. If you are lucky enough, he will shoot three or four times. But if he doesn't, it's okay. Just reset this room, quick turn immediately, wait for the rocket, and then enter to the other room again and repeat. But sometimes uh, Nemesis won't throw the rocket and we will rush to you. If that happens, you need to reset immediately. So that's the main reason we quick turn as soon as we enter to this alley. Uh, just in case Nemesis doesn't give, give us the good energy and start shooting his rockets. But after he shoots his fifth rocket, you can go directly to this part. Climb this uh, wood and start shooting from here. When Nemesis is getting close to you, aim down and start shooting. He will never be able to punch you. And this, this only works with enhanced ammunition, by the way. Because if you try to do this uh, strat with normal ammunition, he will go to the other side and punch you from the from the left from the left side. So it only works with enhanced ammunition, by the way. Just wait for Nemesis. If you shoot directly when he's uh, uh, when he's when he's screaming, uh, you should hit him. But for some reason, I didn't hit him when he was uh, screaming. So that's why he didn't die. Uh, he only needs one more bullet. I didn't pick up that supply case because that supply, supply case, sorry, that supply case, excuse me, <laughs> uh, gives you 
parts from another shotgun that I don't use it, so that's the main reason I didn't pick up that supply case. The, the next Nemesis encounter, that it's Nemesis 5, will give you the second part for that shotgun. So I won't pick up that supply case as well. To be honest, the only two supply cases that I pick up from Nemesis are the, the first and second one. The other ones, I don't pick them up. Do not forget about the cable right here. If you, don't, if you didn't pick it up at the beginning. Always choose the first option. If you choose the second option, Jill will uh, receive damage from the boxes. Right now it comes a more complex fight with Nemesis, in my opinion, and I think in everyone's opinion that makes it that make this run. Because unfortunately stuck in Nemesis on, a, on the corner that we have to fight him, it's very very complex and it's very very precise. So if you messed up a little your movement, uh, the cheese will be over and Nemesis will immediately punch you. Like it's literally impossible to, to back that to back up the strat if you messed up. Well, it's not impossible, but it's really, really complex to back up the strat if you messed up, so... But it's very consistent to make him get stuck in the corner as long as you move precisely. It's very, very precise, so you need to practice this a lot, believe me. Just practice over and over. Thankfully, there's a... Uh, Typewriter right here, so you can just save the game if you need. If you need to practice, right? Because this is a no saving no damage run, so I didn't save at any point. So, so you trigger Nemesis ca uh, cutscene when you regain control of Jill. Shoot one, two, or three times, depending if Nemesis keep running. If Nemesis stop and start walking, just go backwards. Rotate to the left and wait for Nemesis. When Nemesis is about to grab you, you have to go around him and go right to this place. And as you can see, you will stalk him on this corner. After the fifth, after the uh, 15 shot, he will uh, fall down to the floor, shoot him one time, then rotate to the left, hack the wall, and continue shooting. He will be able to get out of the corner when he's uh, when he's screaming. After he stand up. But the movement precise is where you have to rotate to the left, hack the wall when he's coming to you, of course, and go around him and do not get stuck in the corner. But there are some other plenty of things to take into consideration, like some, for example, sometimes Nemesis will like rush to you and punch you. And of course, he won't on stuck on the, on the corner because of that. So that's the main reason you need to wait until, him, until Nemesis try to grab you and that will avoid that but not 100% of the time this game is not 100% consistent in all the strats so do not expect that things will uh, work all the time So for the Grave Digger, I like to shoot him six times, so he will have, or the Grave Digger will have less HP for uh, for the boss fight in, in the park, and that will help me to one, just one phase the Grave Digger with quick shooting in the park. So that's the main reason I, I fight the Grave Digger right here because you can just avoid the Grave Digger if you want and just press the two buttons and go directly to the ladder. And you don't need to fight the Grave Digger. And of course, you can do it hitless, damageless, this part. But I just... Uh, I just shoot him because he's the safest way and also because I lower the HP of the Grave Digger for the boss fight later in the game.
It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. So the next encounter with Nemesis um, is not mandatory for Nemesis percent. Because it doesn't throw a supply case, so that's why we don't have to fight with, with this nemesis for this, for this category, excuse me. So you can just uh, turn around and leave Mikhail along with nemesis. But if you wonder, it's possible to do this fight not that much, even when the place is very tight. And the strat for this Nemesis fight not that much is with the special shotgun that Nemesis 4 and Nemesis 5 throw you. This route to choose the first option, just uh, break through the window or jump out of the window. Because if you choose the second option, the route on the clock tower at the beginning it's different. So there can be gunpowders right here on this little uh, table and if it's not here we'll be in the save room. What you want to chip here is to pick up the gunpowder B before triggering the cutscene so that will give you enough time to pick up the gunpowder A later or after the cutscene. After the cutscene go to the, to the wall, pick up this key that is behind this art, uh, art frame and then pick up both Gunpowder says, believe me, you have time even if a zombie starts going turbo. And if you get scared by a zombie turbo, maybe, you can just reset the room. So I again uh, combine two Bs with an A and then with the reloading tool to make uh, a lot of enhanced handgun ammunition. Carlos! Whew. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. So it's very important you have free space right here. Otherwise, Carlos won't give you the freeze rounds if you don't have space in your inventory. And if you're lucky enough, you will have the explosive rounds right here. These explosive rounds uh, can be here or in the next room where the chimeras, sorry, not chimeras, where the dream demons, brain suckers, the zombies are in this room. But it's kind of risky to pick it up here, so that's why it's better to have them on the other room. So in that room, you need to enter with flame rounds. And as soon as you enter, you aim and shoot if there are drain demons or uh, brain suckers. If there are zombies, you can just go directly to this room. You don't have to worry about killing any zombies. And after you kill uh, the first Drain Demon, as soon as you enter, you need to reset the room to the aggro the other Drain Demon ceiling, and you're good to go. Right here, I'm just making some item management. Uh, you need the handgun with enhanced ammunition, you need the grenade launcher and all the uh, grenades you have for the grenade launcher, and also the key, of course. You don't, you don't need the reloading tool anymore in the game. After this cutscene, press the left directional button Jill will rotate and then go directly to the door. It's very important that you do it as soon as the cutscene ends and you regain control of Jill. 
otherwise the zombies will immediately grab you because uh, they like to go turbo on that section so the time is, pre is pretty tight for the spiders right here as long as you continue running the only one that you need, really need to worry about is this one that is on the on the wall on the right side you need to hack the left side in order to avoid the out attack from the spider because if you don't hack the left side that spider can hit you very easily so right here upside uh, there can be powder a gunpowder a but that's about the luck if there is not gunpowder a it will be mines for the mine thrower and that gunpowder a won't be in other specific uh, place so it's just about luck it's rng but in, even if you don't have that gunpowder a it's okay it's, it's not like it will change the route uh, significantly so it's cool if you don't have the gunpowder a there the combination for this puzzle is always the same it's up down up up down up it only it's only random on one specific version of this game that it's on the playstation 2 on all, all the other versions of the game uh, it's the same So right now it comes the Nemesis 6 fight, Nemesis 6. Uh, what you want to choose for these uh, choices, uh, you need to choose the second option in order to fight this Nemesis. Because if you choose the first one, you won't fight Nemesis. So you need, you need to choose uh, use the court. Maybe you think that Nemesis is done because he will electrocute him and he will throw you his supply case. But it's not like that. He's still uh, with a... 800 HP and he will follow you through the clock tower. Do not pick up those supply case because it only has 8 sprays. Not worth it for another damage run. So Nemesis, if Nemesis starts following you upside, it means he will be right here. He can make a Jesus fall down or he can just be behind you. If he's behind you, you need to step, uh, stop right where I go and take a look at that specific line I put Jill's right uh, leg that's very very important because you need to take that specific line in or and walk forward and you will always stack nemesis if you do that correctly the worst thing can happen to you is that nemesis start charging charging to you when you are uh, position yourself uh, on that specific line on the floor and of course he will punch immediately and won't give you enough time to position yourself and make him get stuck on the corner of the table but that does, doesn't happen uh, very often. Like Nemesis will always try to run at you when you start running, when you when he has plenty of space between you. Uh, on, on when, sorry, excuse me. When there's plenty of space between you and Nemesis. That's like the rule for Nemesis to start charging to you. If Nemesis is kind of close to you, he will always walk. Or almost always. So I told you, if Nemesis is upside, Nemesis will fall down to the table directly from the second floor or he will follow you behind you. But if Nemesis doesn't appear of sight, it means you need to go to this specific room right now, where I'm right now, and Nemesis will be here, and then you, you need to go to the to the main hall and uh, make the same strat that I did. And for the spiders, as any percent, you know, you've killed the first one, pick up the explosive rounds, and stand up right on the pillar, wait for the second one, and kill the second one when you have a, a direct shot. And if the first spiders start coming to you from the ceiling, you need to reset the room and uh, do it again for the second spider, just to make it uh, a little safer. The combination for this puzzle depends on the time uh, from the clock in the middle. So it's nine o'clock, you need to put obsidian, I think it's amber in the middle. Yeah, amber and crystal. So again, for MS6, the, the most consistent strategy is to uh, look where Jill's right leg is on the floor and you need to put it on that specific line on the floor. And if, by doing that, you will always stock Nemesis. Just take a very close look at what line I took with, Nemesis, with Jill in order to make Nemesis stock on that corner. Once you know which line is on the floor, you will be 
uh, very consistent for that fight or for making him uh, get stuck. So right now it comes the Messi 7 fight, it's the same as any percent. I think I will have a pretty rare RNG. Hopefully I will be able to explain you the backup strat. Take away face from an emesis after Jill dodge him. So the fight starts, you regain control of Jill, press the up and left directional button and go right to this corner and start running on the corner. After the second shot for Nemesis, rotate and run to this little thing on the floor that is uh, brown and dodge the first shot and then just run around the Nemesis. Go right to this pillar and you need to dodge the last two shots from his rocket launcher but he shoot me four times before so that's why I just I just uh, dodge one shot from the rocket because after the fifth rocket launcher he will always throw his rocket and you will stuck him on this corner stucking him on this corner is very very consistent he rarely get out of this corner as long as you use enhanced gunpowder or enhanced handgun ammunition and as long as you don't use grenades because if you use grenades he will make a sidestep and will be get out of the corner very easily and that's MC7. I thought it'd give me a very rare RNG, but he didn't. So the fight is not like very linear, maybe I can say it. There's many things you need to take into consideration, but in order to dodge Nemesis when he charges you, you need, to, you need to go to that little thing on the floor that it's brown, or even to the camera change. Because by doing that, you will have enough space to dodge him and it will be easier than uh, keeping on the same camera change or just going or hugging the fire, you know. Hang in there. What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please wake up. But yeah, that the fight, like all the Nemesis fights, has a lot of things to take into consideration that maybe I won't be or I wasn't able to explain on this video because there's a lot of things that I wasn't able to show. So just feel free to leave in the comments any question you have or contact me on Twitch or Discord. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. So, Carlitos Oliveira. Pretty straightforward. Almost the same as any percent. I think the only difference will be uh, that I will pick up handgun ammunition in a specific part of the hospital and of course I will fight Nemesis but remember fighting Nemesis with Carlos is not mandatory for a Nemesis present run you can just avoid the Nemesis I will fight him because uh, that will help me for the fight with you but anyway let's uh, let's continue with Carlos on this room you can have spiders not on this one on this one you can have spiders or drain demons Unfortunately, I have spiders again at the any percent and I wasn't able to show you the strat for the Drain Demons because the strat for the Drain Demons is completely different than with the spiders, it's not the same. With the spiders, it's uh, the same as Jill. 
like kill the first one, then the second one, reset, and dodge the third one. But with the drain demons, it's completely different. I think I will just make a video on specific for just that RNG to let you guys know how to deal with that uh, with the, with drain demons on that hallway. But uh, just by saying it right now, uh, I can say that drain demons is a little more complex and are uh, more RNG than the spiders because even if you do it correctly, the fear drain demon can hit you very easily. So it's better to have spiders. The best RNG is to have spiders with Carlos. Very important to go uh, on the re right side of the pillar. Just stand up on the side of this door. So after the cat scene from the hunter, you can enter directly and you won't have any risk to get slashed by the, by the hunter. Pick up the tape recorder, go to the elevator, and before using the tape recorder, equip your your machine gun just in case you have uh, zombies on the fourth floor. And maybe you wonder why I need to equip the machine gun before entering to the elevator and before going to the fourth floor. It's because uh, when you aim on the elevator as soon as you arrive to any floor, if you release the aiming, Carlos will go uh, backward a little and, and will change the camera to the elevator and you won't be able to see what is in front of you. So it's very important to just continue aiming when you when you aim as soon as you enter to any any floor. You're still alive? You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! So there can be handgun ammunition right on this white table where the papers are. But if the handgun ammunition is not there, it means uh, it's on the hunter's room before the... before the base. Base medium, I think it's called that item. So right here there are four different RNGs and it depends where the cabinet is and also it depends if there are worms or zombies. So if there are worms you need to immediately quick turn and get out of the room and you need to check where the cabinet is. If the cabinet is on the left side or on the right, right side of the door, it will tell you where you have to push this, uh, this cabinet on this specific room. And it will also tell you which number you need to put on the, on the safe lock. And if there are not worms and there are zombies, you need to check the body that it's on the left side of the door. So for example, you need to push this cabinet right here because the cabinet was on the left side on the other room and the, the combination should be three. Uh, no, I messed up. I think it's three to five. Yeah, three to five. But on the same document where all the puzzle solutions are uh, in the description below, it will be is very well explained as well, so go check it out. So right now you need to go to the B3 floor. Uh, right here you can have the best RNG from the hospital. If there are zombies, it's the best RNG because you don't have to deal with hunters later. But for the hunters right here, start aiming and shoot while you change your aiming to the, to the right side of that camera. Then hack the wall on, on this left side aim directly to the explosive and the hunter will be done. I told you if there are no hanging bullets on the fourth floor, then it should be here. And if there are hanging bullets on the fourth floor, it won't be hanging bullets on this part. So be careful about that because you will need it for the nemesis fight with Carlos. By the way, the second hunter I just killed will always go backwards if you hack the left, the left uh, wall before you aim to the explosive. If you don't hack the left wall, uh, the hunter won't jump backwards and maybe will go immediately to you and you won't be able to one-shot him with the explosive. So the combination for this puzzle is always the same, it's 1-3-A. After you pick up the vaccine medium and uh, you go right to this part, the hunter's gamma will came through the tubes. Just get out of the room as soon as you can. And be careful about that hunter gamma that's on the side of the door. He can slash you if you get close to him. 
So because there are no zombies, you need to go run to the to the wall, shoot directly to the explosive, and then wait for the second hunter and start shooting while he's around the corner. Do not stop shooting by anything. Otherwise, uh, maybe he will jump. So I think I never explained about this. Um, I learned about this when I was making the mercenaries not that much. You can immediately aim directly to the explosive by pressing the aim all button. And yes, there's, there's an aim all button on this game. By default is the R2 button on the PlayStation. So when you press that button, uh, the character will always aim to the explosive if there are, there's an explosive around. Um, by doing that, you will never miss a shot or maybe shot to an enemy by accident and won't be able to shot to the explosive. So that's very, very helpful for certain spots. So right here you can have colon, sorry, colon. you can have worms or you can have zombies. For both uh, different scenarios is the same. Always remember that the third spider is still alive, so you need to make the same dodge as Jill. And right now it comes Nemesis 8. As I told you before, for Nemesis person it's not necessary to fight him with Carlos. But I'm gonna fight him because it's helpful. So skip the cutscene, it's very important to skip the cutscene. And then go around the table, but be mindful that maybe you will get stuck in the corner of that table. So you, ne you need to make a pretty good curve, a pretty precise curve. And after you go around this part, as I just did it, uh, for some reason Nemesis glitch out and he start like just walking, moonwalking. It's very funny to watch. And after you deplete of your machine gun ammo, just start shooting him with the handgun and he's done. By fighting this nemesis with Carlos, of course, he won't drop you the supply case. But what you are doing here is that ne this nemesis will have exactly 500 HP for uh, Jill when Jill needs to fight him. With Jill, is mandatory to fight him with, for the nemesis percent. With Carlos, it's not, but it's helpful because you will deplete his HP and will be easier for uh, Jill. So that's the main reason I fight him with Carlos. Barely made it. How do you feel? I'm okay. What happened to you? I just fought with that monster. Uh, I've got some bad news. Nikolai's still alive. But I thought he was dead. <laughs> that guy doesn't know the meaning of the word dead. What is he after? I don't know. All I know is that he is our enemy. I'm sorry, Jill, but there's something I gotta take care of. I promise I'll meet up with you later. But don't worry. So for Jill, you need to pick up the lockpick. Do not forget the lockpick, it's very important. Um, pick up all the gunpowder if you have plenty of explosive rounds. Because you can now make uh, flame rounds and acid rounds. Acid rounds is the most important thing you need to do right now. Also, I like to pick up the magnum because uh, it will be helpful for the hunters in the park. And it's okay if you don't have plenty of enhanced uh, ammunition. I think I will make more. Yeah, I will make more. But the strat, the strat for this nemesis is very, very consistent. I find a way to not mess up by a camera change. Also reload your grenade launcher with a, with freeze rounds and equip the handgun with enhanced handgun ammunition, of course. So when nemesis came through the door, you just go around him. This nemesis is slower than Nemesis Type 1, so you should be fine if, when you run away from him. So what I look to, what I like to do here is I go backwards right here until Nemesis enters. Nemesis enters and then I just run. Sometimes Nemesis will get stuck on this pillar, just shoot him, take advantage, advantage from that. And when he makes that uh, out attack, you need to go to his not mutated arm, so you need to go to his uh, left arm. And you always need, or, or you always have to wait until Nemesis make the first movement. Do not do not run before that, otherwise he can make 
a very rare 180 degree auto attack and he will uh, hit you even when you are uh, behind him. But as long as you wait until he makes the first movement, he tries to attack you, you just go to his not mutated arm, to his left side, and you should be fine. You, he will never uh, be able to grab you or hit you. And that's the mistake. Because there are no camera changes on that specific part of the room, uh, it's very consistent. Because on the other sides of the room there are plenty of camera changes and that can mess up the fight because you won't be able to see where his nemesis. Uh, he will be able to hit you just because of the camera changes. There is a camera change right on the on the table, like in the middle of the table and on the black-brown part of the floor. So be mindful about that. Just aim up uh, with flame rounds to these zombies and you will decapitate him. You can have explosive rounds or, or mines in this room. Yeah, of course, if, if there are mines, do not pick them up. It's not necessary. There are other zombies right here. Just aim up, shoot him, kill him with the flame rounds. If you want to be more careful, you can kill them with the magnum. But I like to save the magnum if, in case I have hunters. There, are, there can be hunters or worms right here. Just dodge him for both are the same. And there can be hunter gammas or zombies right here. If there are hunter gammas, just run. Wait until the hunter gamma fully lands and then shoot the flame round. Do not shoot earlier. Do not shoot before uh, the hunter gamma ends the landing animation or he will have iframes and you won't be able to shoot him. So there are hunters, just wait for the first one, then equip the magnum, and as soon as you watch him uh, coming through the left side of the camera, shoot him. Do not try to waste uh, more time, otherwise maybe he will jump and you will miss the shot. It's possible to kill him with the flame rounds, but uh, the hunters like to jump the flame rounds more, uh, more when you use the magnum, because the magnum is faster, so the flame round has like a little time to arrive to the enemy, you know? The Magnum it's like immediately will arrive to the enemies and won't give them chance to jump. There are three hunters, by the way. The third one always like takes his time so you can uh, position yourself on, th on that corner and wait for him and then shoot when he's going around that corner. Even if you miss, you will shoot the barrel and the barrel will kill him. But if there are dogs, the, the the strat is completely different. You need to kill the dogs with acid rounds. I think on the 100% run, it's I deal with dogs instead of hunters on that part. Because it's RNG. There can be dogs or hunters, so... So the zombies in the graveyard, they are, not, they are not a problem as long as you continue running. They need to fully get out of the, of the terrain before they can grab you. So on this table there are a gunpowder B and gunpowder A. To be honest, the gunpowder A, I think I'm gonna pick them up because... Only because I have plenty of space. But combine two Bs, then combine it with explosive rounds, you have 12 acid rounds. Acid rounds is very important for the next fight, the Grave Digger. And of course, two gunpowders say make uh, flame rounds. The handgun with enhanced ammunition is no longer necessary. Also, forget about the lighter, but thankfully there's uh, an item box on this room. So you can go up and uh, pick it up right now. So remember when I told you that it's very useful to fight a grave digger at the beginning of the game in the streets, in Raccoon City streets? And that's because uh, if you fight the Grave Digger on the streets, the Grave Digger for this boss fight will have less, less HP. On the Japanese version, we'll have exactly 600 HP, and that will allow you to 100% oh, uh, of the, sorry, that will allow you to one face the Grave Digger when you quick shot, and it's 100% consistent. It's not about RNG because the Grave Digger has less HP. Less, a <laughs> excuse me, less HP. So you will be able to one one phase the Grave Digger and you won't have to deal uh, to dodges or run around the, the boss fight stage, anything. 
you will just have to quick shot and the grave digger will be dead. About the quick shotting, I will leave in the description below a tutorial video on, tutorial video on how to quick shot in this game. And that will also help you for Resident Evil 2 Classic and Resident Evil 1. So go check it out. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh! Another mutant! So, uh, remember to reload as it runs through your grenade launcher and have your grenade launcher equipped before you enter to the boss fight. What's going on? Whoa! So after the cutscene, aim and then press the change aim target as soon as you hear that sound from the Grey Digger coming through the, the, the earth. And then just start quick shooting and, the, and as you can see the Grey Digger is dead before he can do anything. So the quick shot tech is not a very simple thing to learn, but it will help you a lot in this game. And even more if you want to make an speedy no damage run. Or maybe you want to make a, sp a speed run of this game. So for the worms it's pretty straightforward. You have to go around the corner. Or you hack the wall as soon as you get out of the ladder. Then go back. Go down, sorry. And try to go to the middle of the water. And as soon as you arrive to the, to the last three worms. Hack the right side of the camera. Or the right wall. And you should be fine. And then I start killing these zombies with acid rounds. But for some reason that zombie is uh, not taking the hit from the acid round. And then Jill just immediately aim to an invisible enemy. <laughs> I waste a lot of acid rounds in this part, man. <laughs> it was hilarious. And I think at the end I just said... And for some reason the, the flame rounds are not even hitting them. It was very, very fun. That female zombie is going turbo, I said, fuck it, and I will use the Magnum. I just waste too many frame rounds and acid rounds, but it's okay. It's not like you will need them, need all of them. We have plenty of ammunition, so it's not like you will be uh, uh, low on ammunition since this point of the game. There are magnum bullets on this body, very helpful. And even more because I will choose the first option with Nemesis. So, by the way, neither of the choices simply give damage, so... Even if you choose the second option, it's okay, so... But the route, it's a little different. In my opinion, choosing the first option, it's... The more consistent and the safest way to deal. Listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks? Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. So the cutscene ends. Maybe there will be gunpowder A and B in, on, the, on this table. If it's not on this table, it will be on the water sample room. 
So there is something very interesting on this game. This steam doesn't inflict damage to Jill, so I will just go directly to the panel and activate the, the electricity from the elevator or from the unspecific room, sorry. But yeah, this steam doesn't count as damage, so don't worry about this steam. Well, and none of the steam in the whole room inflicts damage, so. But it's very important you pick up the key from that shell that I just picked up. And also make some item management. So this rain demon, there can be a drain demon or brain sucker on that uh, on that hallway. As long as you go directly to the door, it should be fine because the drain demon needs to uh, go back to the floor before it can attack you. And then I reset the room because I reset the, the position from the zombies and I will only have to deal with this one. I will just magnum his head. And that's it. Very simple. Reload your magnum and try to keep your magnum equipped because you will have the max speed amount of the character. As long as you get out of this room, just press the up and left uh, directional button and go around uh, while you hack the railing. But before, I will explain this. Aim and aim down to the right side. And if the hunter jumps, if that hunter jumps, go backwards, wait, wait for them to jump and then aim directly and shoot him in the air. And the same for the second one. So that is very rare because the first one should just die when you aim down and shoot him when he's coming uh, from the right side. And for the second one, you need to deal, you need to uh, do that a specific strat. The things that you need to take into consideration for those hunters is that Jill can dodge even when you just aim, or, or when you when you shoot. Those are the two ways to uh, to dodge in this game. There are three ways, but those those two are uh, two ways. <laughs> so you need to be careful about that, and you need to go backwards to the door, like hack the door before you start aiming and you, you need to wait until the hunter jumps and then shoot do not do it earlier and do not do it later otherwise jill can dodge and she will dodge uh, in front of her and that will allow the hunter to attack you it's very consistent consistent once you know how to deal with them but also there can be worms and if there are worms the worms are pretty fit just shoot them with flame rounds until they die they won't be able to attack you when you are upside but I was telling you about the Drain Demons before the Hunters. On that specific room there can be Drain Demons, Brain Suckers, uh, Hunters or Zombies. The Zombies are the best RNG you can have because they are free to deal with. The Drain Demons and Brain Suckers the same way I as I just did it. Just go around while you hack the railing, uh, go down the, the stairs and go directly to the door. You should be fine as long as you are with the Magnum Equip or without any weapon. It will be a little less uh, consistent if you have a two-arm weapon equipped because Jill will be slower. Um, for the Hunters and the Zombies, uh, you just go directly to the door. Because the Hunters will be coming through the, the water and the Zombies as well. But dealing with them uh, when you go back to that specific part is different. Also for the Drain Demons, Brain Soccer is the same. For the hunters and the zombies are different. So I think that uh, the specific room is the one that it has the most RNG in the game. I think, yeah, because it has four different cases. But having hunters on this specific part that I just killed them uh, won't respawn them. Respawn them, sorry. So you are free to go. If there are worms, worms will respawn and you need to kill them. But Drain Demons, so equip your, uh, go right to this part, equip your grenade launcher with frame runs, aim directly to the barrel and wait for the Drain Demons that try are trying to go down from the stairs and just shoot to the barrel, reset the room, equip your magnum and just go directly to, to the elevator because you have the max speed from the character, the Drain Demon should be a shouldn't be able to do anything. Believe it or not, it's very, very consistent this way. That's why I choose the first option with Nemesis on the bridge. Ah, and also it's faster, as you can see. Because with the other option, you need to deal with that specific room three times, not just two. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. 
Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. What you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. So before you use the disc, um, equip your grenade launcher and also equip uh, freeze rounds. That's very, very important. Because when you enter to the to the boss fight, you will regain control of Jill and the time will be pretty tight. So as long as you can, sorry, as soon as you can regain control of Jill, aim and shoot one time, then press the change aim target button and shoot three times. It's not necessary to quick shot, and if the acid came through the that tube, uh, that's the worst thing you can have because you need to wait until uh, flip the plates and then go behind Nemesis and start shooting him. It's very important that you don't take so many or too many space between you and Nemesis. Not, do not take a very long distance, otherwise the freeze rounds won't count as much and Nemesis will just keep walking. That's very strange, I think, when the enemies are on the other camera change, it's like they won't take any damage from your weapons. Or at least from the grenade launcher. But yeah, that's a fight. On the North American version, it's a little easier for some reason, because it will only take you three freeze rounds to stagger Nemesis instead of four. But the first part of the fight is the most important thing you need to learn. The second part is uh, completely free. The first part is very precise and you need to time it very well. Missile attack confirmed. All personnel evacuate immediately. By the way, that fight was Nemesis 9 and Nemesis 10 is the last boss fight. There are zombies right here, just kill them with acid rounds if you have them. Because when you use freeze rounds, sometimes they will stumble in front of you and maybe they, they will grab you because of that. So using freeze rounds is a little riskier than using acid rounds. I, I'm just checking if they are all dead with the auto aim. Because uh, Jill didn't directly aim to the bodies, it means they are all dead, just in case. And it's very, very important you don't forget to come to this part because this is the main reason we pick up the key. It will give us access to the rocket launcher. There is a rocket launcher in this game that has four rockets. And we will deal with Nemesis 10 with this. But yeah, the Dream Demon from this uh, hallway, it's gone, so don't worry about him. After you use the card, you can discard it because you already use it in all the places you can use it. And just kill the zombies with freeze rounds. Always check if they are completely dead, if they are not bleeding on the floor. But they fall down on their back, so it's completely fine if they are not dead, I can just pass through them without worrying about uh, 
rubbing my feet. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! So there are magnum bullets in this um, in this part of the game. Pretty handy. You need exactly three magnum rounds right now. Two for zombies and one for nemesis. But maybe you will miss one, so it's better to have uh, more than the exact amount, you know, just in case. So get close to this zombie on the floor, aim down and shoot, and then aim directly and shoot to the zombie that is uh, in front of you. And those are the only two zombies that you need to kill. The other ones are not a problem. Alright, so Nemesis 10. Nemesis 10 fight with this strat with the rocket launcher. It's very consistent. But it depends too much about um, you moving correctly and also about dodging. The acid shots that Nemesis throw. And it's also about not being greedy, because if you are greedy you will get hit. Simple as that. So be with your magnum equipped before you push the first generator, that's very important. As soon as you regain control of Jill, aim and shoot, then go to this corner on the right side, rotate and then just run directly to the body of this soldier and as soon as you watch Nemesis feet, run to this part, equip your rocket launcher, aim and shoot. Then rotate to the right side and wait for the acid shots. Aim, he can shoot three times so be, be mindful about that. Then shoot the second rocket, take some space between you and Nemesis and then start dodging the acids uh, as well. The camera change is the worst thing that can happen to you because it won't let you see Nemesis and after the after you dodge the second time the acids you can shoot the third and fourth rocket launcher uh, Nemesis is done, it's 0 HP and he will go to the Tyrant and will try to recover his HP but he won't have enough time because he will start pushing the generators and the generator will inflict him damage again and he won't be able to refill his HP so the fight is over it's very important after you shoot the fourth rocket Take space, the more, the most space you can between you and Nemesis because he likes to throw uh, an area like 360 degree acid and also he can tentacle hit you. So it's better to just wait until he go away from you and then go and push the generators. But yeah, that's the fight. It's very, very consistent as long as you move correctly, you dodge correctly and you are not greedy. You don't need to shoot two times with the rocket. The f uh, for the first time and the second time, otherwise he will be able to shoot you with acid. Only shoot two times for the third and fourth uh, rocket, not for the first and second one. But yeah, that's Nemesis 10.
It's here! It's time to go! Now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. So. This was Resident Evil 3 Classic, no same damage. Uh, fighting with all Nemesis encounter, it's also called Nemesis Percent, also called Corner Percent. <laughs> I'm joking about the second one. But yeah, I basically defeat all Nemesis encounters that drops supply cases that are in total 10 Nemesis fights with the boss fights. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you like, hope you enjoy, hope you learn if you are trying this run or something similar. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv or Sorio. I have an Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You will have you will find all my socials in the description below. And also you can find find all my no damage runs on my YouTube channel. I also have an Spanish commentary channel and a documentary channel with all these runs you can find them in the comment below sorry in the pinned comment below in the pin pinned comment in the comment section below sorry but yeah i'm artis and i see you next time take care thank you so much for watching